welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Welcome back, Fight Fans. Welcome back. Andy Ruiz Jr. has just been welcomed to the team of Eddie Reynoso, Canelo Alvarez. And you know what? This is an excellent move by, you know, Andy Ruiz Jr. Getting the perfect trainer, getting a guy that, you know, that's world renowned as being probably the best active trainer today. The best active trainer today because he has the pound for pound king, Canelo Alvarez, the number one pound for pound boxer in the world, Canelo Alvarez. This is a Canelo Alvarez that he took from, you know, a very young kid and, you know, helped him grow into being the top guy in boxing today, taking on huge challenges, moving up in weight classes, conquering other divisions, winning, uh, you know, world titles against elite fighter. Uh, you know, this is the guy that, have, you know, helped Canelo Alvarez adapt to different styles, you know, from being able to face guys like it is Landy Lada, Triple G, uh, guys like Sergey Kovalev. He's helped and adapt game plans uh, for Canelo Alvarez to just get better and better and to flourish and to even take on new challenges, looking at guys like Billy Joe Saunders, where guys say, oh, Canelo is not going to fight good with this type of style, but yet he's taking on the challenges simply because the game plans that he has, fight after fight, the growth in his game, such as body work, has simply helped him. And Eddie Reynoso is a big factor and a big key in that. Eddie Reynoso has simply helped guys like, you know, uh, Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia looks like a completely different fighter with Eddie Reynoso, ending fights quickly with quick, sharp knockouts. You know, he's taking on Oscar Valdez. And, you know, with some guys like Valdez, you know, he needs time to grow with these type of guys and see what they can really do. But at the end of the day, you know, you look at a guy like Eddie Reynoso and and you see a guy like Andy Reese Jr. who who had so much potential. It makes sense for these two guys to link up and for these guys to be a part of the same team. Now, look, let me just be honest. When you look at Andy Reese Jr. and you see what he's done, uh, you know, he's a former, uh, you know, unified champion of the world, beat Anthony Joshua. That has to be his career highlight. And, you know, he's came off such a dominating loss. You know, he, he was just he's just not a guy that could get on the inside of Anthony Joshua. Forget the weight. Just for a minute, strategically, there was nothing he could do to get past the height and the reach. With a guy like Eddie Reynoso, he's going to tailor certain assets that Andy Reese Jr. has. Like, Andy Reese Jr. doesn't have the best footwork, but he has some of the best hands in boxing. Now, if he works with Eddie Reynoso, he can help to improve that footwork, to help to improve his effectiveness aggression, help to improve him in ways that, you know, he may not have thought or had, you know, guys like Manny Robles may be limited in. So this is a great move for Andy Reese Jr. to help him reach his potential because he needed more than just a, a guy that could, you know, hey, help get him motivated, help train him, help him to stop eating. But he needed someone to help him with great game plans. See, too many people focus on just the weight with Andy Reese Jr. And don't get me wrong, the weight has been a massive problem, but the weight is not the only problem. Andy Reese has a lot of potential, but he needs someone that can not only just help him stay disciplined, but also teach him, help him grow, help him understand there's different dimensions and levels to the game boxing wise. And Andy Reese Jr. is already a good boxer. He's already intelligent. He's already shown a good IQ. He already has some pop in his shots. He already has elite level hand speed. But what is he going to do now that he has all this experience with guys like Eddie Reynoso and Canelo in his corner? This man is going to be dangerous for the heavyweight division. He is an absolute problem. This is a hell of a matchup between these two guys. And I think it's a great, great thing. You look at it, you know, uh, even Eddie Reynoso was trainer of the year. So you got to understand this is a great move for Andy Reese Jr., the best move that he could have made, in my opinion. And, you know, a lot of people were saying, well, you know, Andy, he's not going to say anything. You know, I don't know if he's going to do anything if he's not disciplined. You know, let me just quote what, uh, you know, Eddie Reynoso stated in, in regards to this. He said, yes, of course, um, we offer that working with Andy Reese Jr. Uh, as long as there's discipline, uh, that there's order in training. And so basically he's stating that, you know, look, as long as there's discipline with Andy Reese Jr., we can work with Andy Reese Jr. As long as there's discipline in the training program. Eddie Reynoso is the type of guy that demands discipline. You've never seen an Eddie Reynoso fighter go out there that wasn't in shape. 
You've never seen that. So you have to go by his track record. He's not going to be in the corner of somebody that's not in shape, that's not disciplined. You can win or lose. That's with anybody. But there's certain expectations and standards that come with being a championship trainer. Eddie Reynoso doesn't need Andy Reese Jr. But if he's going to work with him, he has to have a certain level of commitment and discipline. And I believe at this point, because of this great move, we're going to see a new improved Andy Reese Jr. Not just discipline-wise, but strategically. Once again, unbiased as always, is the IBFP.